Today, we're gonna to be looking at a way that you can f visualize your voice in order to try and create improvements and track improvements as you work on it and as you grow. Because sometimes we, we know that we wanna change something, but we're not always quite sure why. And we don't always check in with ourselves to see where we're at now. Now, a lot of times when we do consider ourselves, we think analytically and we think, um, we think, in different ways, everyone's different, it's quite subjective. So sometimes we, we analyze ourselves how we feel, sometimes we do visualize it, people do that naturally. Sometimes people can hear the difference in their voices and, and we, we all have different ways of taking this on board. But so, and I've mentioned before that, that the idea of journaling is, is really good for marking down your feelings and your thoughts around your voice and tracking your progress as you work on it. But today I'd like to introduce you to an idea um, and give you an exercise to do that you can take away, uh, which might be of use. And it's it's to do with visualizing and, and putting your, your um, thoughts down onto paper in a slightly different way. Now I'm taking this idea from a book written by one of the most fantastic voice coaches that ever lived. Her name was Kristen Linklater. Unfortunately, um, she passed away last year, but she left, um, uh, a, a huge legacy um, and has the lineage of her training continues to to progress and actually yesterday I, I had a, my interview with a university and I, I don't know whether I've been accepted yet however I do know that they're very strong on Christine Linklater's work and so I wanted to share something with you in order to maybe give you an example of some of the things that uh, have helped me along the way. So this book is called Freeing the Natural Voice. It was originally written in 1977, I believe, the year I was born. <laughs> but it, it, it's um, the very first um, point of the book and the preparation for the work that's in it is uh, it is to start by drawing a picture. So what I've done, I've gone through the work myself, I've got some big pieces of paper and some crayons or colored pens or pencils. And it's very important to not do this on the computer. It's very important to get real paper and real coloring uh, equipment or paints or whatever you want to use and sit down. And the first point of this is to title the picture, my voice as it is now. And then close your eyes, sit, and just think about your voice in a visual context and see what comes to you. And then just draw it. It can be expressive in any way you like. You can draw it figuratively, imaginatively, just through color, and, and there's no rules to it. I mean, here's a, here's a version of mine, for example, but that's only the way I work, and that's what I did. So once you've done that, then Take a second piece of paper and draw and write the title, My Voice As I Would Like It To Be. So now you do the same thing again. You close your eyes, visualize you speaking or using your voice or, or, or however this line makes you feel, My Voice As I Would Like It To Be. And then after a minute, just open your eyes and draw, write, um, express with the pens on the paper. Uh, what you would like your voice to be. So you, then you'll have two pictures and these can be as expressionistic, like I said, or as literal as you as you like. The third point uh, on this would be to draw the outline of a, like a gingerbread man, you know, like just, just or, or like the, the picture of uh, a person on the toilet door, you know, just, just, just a very basic, uh, bigger than stick man. So it's like the outline. Um, here's an example of mine. It's, it's terrible, clearly. And within that body, try to draw in there what, whatever you see as the problem with your voice or anything that you feel holds you back. And maybe you can, again, use uh, colors to determine if there's like aches or pains or things stopping or tensions. Uh, and, and try to draw them in and find and pinpoint the places where you th feel there may be issue with your voice. So once you've done this, these three pictures, go back to the first one and try and find some key words that you find are conjured up by this picture and that might describe your voice and what you're doing with it and what you're using with it. Um, the example of mine, for example, in my, my voice as it is now, 
I think there's a bit of control. I think there's some force. Uh, it's a bit effortful sometimes. Um, sometimes it can be unconnected. It can be loud, brash, and hard. And that I've picked on the, the negative aspects of my voice because uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not always the case, but I'm looking at those, so those are points that I want to change. And then on my second one, the voices I would like it to be, I've put, I would like it to be easy, round, effortless, engaging, warm, full, rich, and commanding. And you can see those two pictures and what I've done with them. And then next to the picture of the, 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 the person that you drew and, and with those coloring ins that you've created, you can start writing words around how you feel um, the problem is affecting you. Maybe, maybe just buzzwords that come up. What, what is it? What, what, what is the issue? Is it in your head? Is it in mind? Is it the way you think? Or is it tension in your body? Is it something in your, is it tightness, restriction? Is it fear? You know, just put all those words down next to the, the, the person you have there. And the last point of this, so you've taken these, uh, you've closed your eyes and you've visualized and you've drawn these pictures and you've put some buzzwords or keywords next to those pictures or beside them or wherever you, you know, you choose to put them. And the last thing I'd like you to do is to write a poem. All right, you don't have to be uh, an amazing lyricist or, or, or poet to, to, to do this, but you're going to take all the words and write on a new piece of paper, a poem to my voice. So using the words from these three papers you've already written out, take those and try and integrate them into the poem. So maybe you start with, um, I feel this about my voice, I'm not too keen on it, and it has this and that and the other, and what I'd like to do is make it more fluid and free, and you can write that in any way, any, as poetic as you'd like. I mean, for me, I wrote more of a lyric. This, this was my one, I'll read it to you. Uh, for ease and effortless, breathe and reconnect, let go of control and of force. For warm and engaging is full and commanding enough, so get training, of course. This poem should highlight it's useless to be tight, an unaligned body will sound, brash hard and obtuse, which is of no real use when it aims to be free, full and round. And so that was my poem out of the words that I picked from my pictures. Um, and so this is work that's always worth coming back to and and it's interesting because I've done this around three times now in my life. I did it once around 10 years ago and I did it again around five years ago and I'm now doing it again um, because I'm on a slightly new journey with my voice training and coaching others. So I wanted to share it with you as an idea, as a visualization uh, tool that you can use to picture your voice in a different way and then maybe start to stand back and look at the, the 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 points that you've picked up about yourself through the visualizations and so perhaps this is something that you could do i'm going to leave a link to this amazing book in the description box below if you're interested in uh, and picking it up it is the kind of work that is more often best to be led than read. So it's useful to me because I've done the work with a practitioner who's guided me. Um, so reading it can sometimes be a little bit uh, less um, impactful, but it's still very useful and it's been very useful in, in my life and the work itself is very powerful if you're able to get um, uh, into a workshop where someone's doing this work, of Christian Linklater, I'd suggest, you know, check it out and, and go along and try it out because it's, 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 it's very impactful. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, I am, as I've mentioned before, applying for university to further my teaching and coaching uh, abilities and skills. Um, and and I'm, I'm not sure if I've been accepted yet. However, I'm still on a mission to learn more and to bring more to you. And so, uh, because this channel obviously takes a lot, a lot of time out of my life and, and work, I'm, I, I, I need to find a way to fund some, some of those. So, for books like this, I've uh, there's a little site called Buy Me A Coffee and there's a link below in also in the description box where you can actually help if this video or if this channel has any value to you, you can um, maybe help by, you know, contribute and donate towards my book buying and my, my future learning, which I will then share back with you. Uh, so 
if you're if you're someone who wanted to donate and feel that there's there's value here and you want to help support me in my own growth and and then feedback to yourself then that would be very welcome and i thank you anyway anyone who comes along to watch this if you haven't already subscribed then please do and leave a comment share the video if you find someone else might get some benefit from this i'm darren mcstay this is improve your voice and until the next time look after your voice i have so many tales to tell and up till now i've been telling them real badly so